Tesla said on Thursday it planned to start making electric vehicle chargers in China in 2021, part of the US car makers push to boost sales in the world's biggest car market. Let's see where Tesla in China is going to build these chargers and where it's going to manufacture it. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. So, Yilei Sun and Brenda Go report on Reuters in Reuters that Tesla plans to produce electric car chargers in China in 2021. Tesla, which now sells its Model 3 electric cars in China and plans to deliver its Model Y sport utility vehicle in China in 2021, now plans to invest 42 million yuan, Chinese yuan, which is 6.4 million US dollars in a new factory to make its third generation of quick chargers known as the supercharger v3 it said in a statement not the word new factory according to reuters this new factory will be near its car plant in shanghai so it will be um, outside of giga shanghai or just near it doesn't specify the exact place reuters report says china which offers hefty subsidies for electric vehicles as it seeks to cut down on pollution in the country from petrol or diesel cars has been expanding its nationwide network of charging points one of the biggest challenges to encouraging adoption of electric vehicles i think this is a huge challenge not only in china but around the world so let's take a look at some more details that we know about the uh, tesla chargers uh, production in china at the factory and how many they're going to make per year according to reuters report uh, the factory which tesla expects to complete in the first quarter next year will have capacity to make 10,000 chargers a year tesla said that's 10,000 chargers potentially for the chinese market initially and i think they will expand in the nearby markets because it will be easier for tesla to uh, ship uh, uh, chargers to australia and southeast asia from the china factory the new charging factory um, then rather from the united states so let's take a note also this will be tesla's second factory in china tesla which sold more than 13,000 vehicles in china last october october 2020 said it would expand research capabilities in shanghai china now imports electric vehicle chargers usually installed in charging stations or car parks from the united states and uh, the shanghai car factory central to tesla's global growth strategy aims to produce 150,000 model 3 sedans this year tesla sedans and has started exporting some vehicles to europe already however i don't know how those export how long those exports to europe will be once the european gigafactory giga berlin just outside of berlin will come into production next year executives at tesla said this year that the firm would expand its charging network to provide better services now note that they're going to make this in uh, the first quarter of 2021 uh, the first quarter of 2021 is going to be very exciting time for tesla because um, the first model and y's will roll off the assembly line in china and also the second factory will come did you note that reuters report said that tesla said that they would like to expand their um, research and, and development service in shanghai and uh, as well as uh i think it may be even possible that we will see major uh, news coming out about tesla giga factory in uh, in berlin and the end of first quarter because things ha should have been very advanced by then um, when i'm looking at this for example what does this mean for uh, china uh, and tesla uh, by the company making the second factory in china electric for example notes that tesla's production capacity at giga factory shanghai has been expanding faster than anticipated and demand has been good despite the, this virus resulting in a 
uh, rapid expansion of Tesla's fleet. The bigger fleet in China requires more service infrastructure and the automaker has been adding new service centers and charging stations as fast as it can. Electric also says this new factory is in line with Tesla's strategy to locate production capacity closer to the demand in order to reduce logistic costs. This is something I covered heavily yesterday that Tesla seeks to localize uh, its supply in order uh, as much as possible to lower and reduce logistics cost and make sure because if your supply is closer to your factory, you know, things seem to be uh, are uh, hopefully said to be more uh, less interrupted if there is virus or something or any restrictions. Electric also notes that it would support an expansion of Tesla's charging infrastructure in China, this new second uh, charging factory uh, near Giga Shanghai, and possibly other markets, like I said a little bit ago. Since Tesla has now started exporting cars made in China to other markets, Electrex reporter says, I wouldn't be surprised if they do the same with charging stations, especially if we're talking about capacity of 10,000 charging per year. Now, you know what? I think is soon when Tesla Giga, Shanghai, Giga Berlin comes into effect and Tesla starts selling even more cars in the European continent, I will not be surprised seeing Tesla building another uh, charging factory somewhere in Europe, maybe near to Berlin where they already have their logistics set up or somewhere else, uh, maybe in Eastern Europe. I think it depends where most of the uh, Tesla vehicles will be sold. Tesla currently sells all all uh, four of its available models in China, although only one, uh, the Model 3, is built in the country, but soon the Model Y is set to begin production within the next few months at the Chinese-located Giga Shanghai production facility. The Model S and Model X friends are still produced in Northern California at the Fremont factory and shipped to customers in Asia. However, with uh, with the two mass market vehicles being produced in house at Giga Shanghai, Tesla is already preparing for a sizable increase in its cars presence in the country. With more Tesla electric vehicles being driven in the country, more charging points are of course required to keep um, to keep weights at the minimum and increase availability uh, across the entire country. This is why. Um, Tesla is making uh, this uh, uh, second charging uh, second charging factory in uh, in China next to or near Giga Shanghai. China has heavy government subsidies that encourage the use of electric cars, as the country has the most cars on the road in the world. The massive amount of gas and petrol powered engines has significantly increased the number of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere and has created widespread pollution issues in the country, notes uh, Tesla Radi. Therefore, the government continues to try and influence buyers with tax breaks and subsidies that ultimately lower the vehicle purchase price. Currently, the standard range uh, plus Tesla Model 3 is the only car that qualifies for the subsidies as it is priced below the 300,000 yuan threshold. If you remember, I think it was in May that Tesla decided to drop the price a little bit, a couple of thousand dollars in order for it to meet the uh, requirement for the subsidies. Um, before incentives, the car cost 200 uh, 69,700 yuan, uh, Chinese yuan, with subsidies bringing it down to $249,900, basically $250,000, no, no, I'm sorry, not dollars, but Chinese yuan. However, all cars are able to enjoy a new energy vehicle purchase tax reduction, uh, which could save buyers uh, about $44,000. Tesla's most recent quarterly earnings call revealed that Giga Shanghai has the production capacity to build 250,000 Model 3s uh, Model 3 units a year with so much cars being built already uh, and Model Y production beginning soon. The move is advantageous for the company and, uh, and the owners. The move to build a second 
charging uh, factory in China, which will be Tesla's second factory in China. Well, friends, let me know what your thoughts are about this move by Tesla. It's very exciting because it's going to be ready just in a few months. I believe that since it's going to be ready for production in the beginning of uh, 2021, the first quarter, that gives Tesla about four months from now on to build the factory. And I think this will be a small factory, not, of course, a giga factory that takes minimum nine to 12 months to build Build, but this who knows maybe they will start from a um, an assembly line starts building that and uh, uh, starts shipping more chargers to the chinese market initially and then throughout the southeast asia let me know what your thoughts are about tesla's move friends this is armin harian from torquenews.com please like this video it helps me very much and also helps the spread and uh, uh, like uh, to subscribe to our channel if you are here first time for daily tesla news and uh, ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next tesla story and i'll see you soon in our next story have a blessed rest of the day god bless you everyone and see you soon